Hello YouTubers, this is my book review on Flipping the Switch by John G. Miller. Got this at Half Price Bookstore. There's Mr. Arthur, author of uh, QBQ, Question Behind the Question. Um, I really enjoyed this book and once again John G. Miller has helped me out. So without further ado, we'll jump into this book review. Talks about in the first book, you know, the first step is um, practice in personal accountability, you know, and it increases your odds of success. And it talks about the five fundamentals of this book learning, um, ownership, creativity, service, and trust. So there's accountability, you know, each one, you know, uh, relates to each one. Accountability powers, you know, each principle accountability powers that so action through better choices so um, when you ask these questions it's important uh, for me to take action so I how I asked the question how I could apply this when I went through this like well what can I do though should I just do it in my head of course you know you should constantly try to ask good questions but I simply I use a weekly planner and I put it in my weekly planner. I um, asked some good questions of some ways that I could do things more efficiently in any area that I'm wanting to progress in. So it goes into um, stuff to pretty much to avoid the garbage thinking. Um, you know, the exception mentality, expectations, entitlement thinking, experience trap, and exclusion. So we'll briefly run through these. The exception mentality. You know, I know that um, I'm no exception, and I should worry about myself um, to the others. You know, I, I'm I'm no exception to the rule. I have to. I'm a human being. I have to earn it just like everybody else. So, um, my expectations. I have you know realistic expectations of myself and others, and for myself specifically, measurable. So I have positive expectations for myself and for others. You know, or surely for myself, that's something I can control, and I encourage it for others. You know, I make the most out of every. I want to make the most out of every scenario and get the most from each day um, in the most efficient way. Entitlement thinking. I know I'm responsible to gain, you know, better skills and to learn. I need to invest more in myself. This is something I'm responsible for. You know, to meet challenges ahead. Um, nobody owes me anything. Um, and I believe this entitlement thinking. Now, I am an opportunist, and if something comes my way, surely, yeah, I'll take advantage of it. But um, nature provides what you work for. I firmly believe reaping and so and so. I really agree with the entitlement thinking. We're or I'll speak for myself, I'm not entitled to anything without, you know, now basic rights, but stuff that I want. Uh, I don't want to, to get, I want to stay on topic, you know. Um, but no, I'm not old, I'm, 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 I'm not entitled for anything. I, you know, I know I need to work for it. The experience trap, I know no matter how good I am at something, in my profession or personal or whatever I feel like, discussing or practicing that there's always room for growth. Um, then in exclusion, um, I'm really striving not to exclude myself and I'm actually not excluding others. Um, I'm trying to be more patient where I listen to what others have to say. Uh, within reason, now if they're just being totally obnoxious and it's dragging me down, yeah, I'll have to get away. But usually, if you really listen to somebody, even if you don't agree with their attitude or what they're saying or how they're saying it, you can still learn something or get something useful out of it. You know. So when it talks about real learning, it's um, when knowing what to do. You know, taking what knowing what to do into doing what we know. You know, learning equals change. You know, for the future. So, and then um, I got some other personal notes, real simple, kind of crude, but who cares, who did it, let's solve the problem. Um, you know, it's not good to blame, you know, um, 
it's not going to help solve the problem. I have to meet it head on. Uh, problems can have opportunities. You know, and I realize too, and I think this goes for all of us, we should you know, stop fighting each other um, and start fighting the problems. Uh, then now it talks about leadership, servant leadership, which is humility, and that is a type of leadership. The, probably some of the best leaders are very humble people in their own ways, or had humble beginnings. You know, um, and I really like this right here. Organizations don't serve people, individuals serve people, and that is so true. And they're asking the question all the time how they can best serve, and they actually leave a great legacy of service. And the last topic, they talk about trust, which is so important. Trust, uh, um, you know, build strong relationships, and it's my responsibility to build trust. You know, and then it talks about trust builders. Really simple. Tell the truth. You know, if you tell the truth and avoid gossiping, talking behind people's back, and also helping people more, like believing in others, builds trust. Instead of micromanaging every little thing to do, believing in them, allowing them to make some mistakes, you know, it's going to happen. You did, or I, I know I have. So if I know if I'm in a leadership position, you know, allow them. I'll, I know to allow my leaders that are over me to, that they're going to make mistakes, you know, put myself in their shoes, I'm wanting to help them out if I can, you know. This book really opened my, my, my eyes and my mind to this. Uh, you know, avoiding micromanaging too builds trust. You know, supporting people's dreams, show that you care, not hustling people. And trust takes time, you know, and it takes, you know, it takes a little time to do that, but, you know, great rewards come with it. And then last but not least, at the end of the book, it's called Principles in Action. And this is kind of like a workbook. Uh, what really would be beneficial for me. I strongly recommend that you read it. Anybody can just read this book, but to really apply some of the principles and stuff, that's a different ball of wax. And that's where you're going to get the, the most benefit from, I believe, for myself. So anyway, this is my book review. Um, I hope you would enjoyed it as much as I have. Um, I thank you for stopping by. And until then, um, I bid you a good day or evening. Until the next time, take care. Bye-bye.